this weird contraption of ladders set up you've done, Chloe. Why am I always the first one into these places? Rotor bunker. Um, so yeah, it was constructed in about 1951-1952 time period and um, it closed in 1958 due to a fire. Well, some say a fire, some say an explosion, but uh, I suppose we'll never know. So yeah, I don't know if you can notice, but the um, this is the tunnel, the access tunnel to the bunker that leads from the guard room. The guard room is just beyond that breeze block wall at the end there. Um, it's an unusual one, I um, don't think there's many like this, if not this is the only one, I'm not too sure, but this access tunnel actually leads uphill, this is all water under here, it's about 3-4 foot deep down there, and it leads uphill, I'll just show you this pipe on the side, this is more modern, I wonder if they've been using this to pump water out. So me and Clive are attempting to walk down to the guard room entrance, it's taking a few selfies. Anyone watching this is that seen Clive on Facebook, he likes to put selfies up of himself but he never smiles in them. He's always a grumpy old fucker. <laughs> I've still done a lot of stuff here. Yeah, good shit on that. Well, it's quite cold. Got a hell this side. Yeah, that's what I was to done. And it's flat here. I don't think I can go any further, my back's going to go in the water. Hang on, why are you letting me go first again? Did my back start the water, Clive? Well, it's not out of the water, or it's in the water. Yeah. Oh, it's up to me now, cos... Right. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Oh, give me a gun. <laughs> Titanic. What is it? It's about four and a half foot now. And I can't lean down in there anyway, cos I'm back. Can you see anything? Just a lot of brick. And now, this would have been the uh, transformer room, just before you head into the bunker. 
that's the uh, cable shaft we've had to bodge three ladders together with ratchet, uh, ratchet straps to get in I'm going to try and do this video quickly because we're running out of battery life considering I've probably been down here about 45 minutes now um, I can't remember what this room is I don't know if this is another cable room or if it's the cleaning cupboard and I pray that this is still recording I'm going to throw this camera in the water before I leave. So as you can see there's a bit of water in here. Now this would have been teak flooring, the uh, wooden areas, which would have given access to the cables. So if you had any problems with cables or needed to put more cables in, you could thread it under the floor. And then there was these access um, wooden floor areas that they could lift up. This would have been the uh, where the blast doors were. As you can see they've been taken. Um, yeah, completely stripped out this bunker, unfortunately, and burnt out. Yeah, there you can see one of those areas again. Um, you've got three foot void there of water, which we had to go into when we first came in down the cable shaft. And there we go, there's the, uh, this is the main bunker. Just switch the light. There you go, it's quite long. Uh, what would you say? 110, 120 feet maybe. Yeah, over 100 feet anyway. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop recording and just check that I am still recording because I don't want to have to try and do it again. Yep, so we're all good. We're still recording. So, um, yeah, you can't go in this room unfortunately because that's all debris on the surface there. All the flooring is missing. Um, yeah, I feel like a parrot repeating myself. But um, I need to get it documented. Uh, we've waited three years to get into here. Um, so, like I say, we jumped at the, the opportunity to get across and um, get in. Clive's just taking photos. So, this is the. Oops. This is the main operations area, main operations room. There will be a PPI pit, which I can just make it out there. Um, and that'll be deep. That's, uh, I'll say that's another 10 feet deep, is that. But, um, yeah, I'll just step back, because I need to be really careful going through this water. Um, as you know, there's, there's no flooring, so um, you sort of like need to balance, and there's, it's only wide enough for one boot at a time if you know what I mean so you've got like shimmy across type of thing and balance which is very difficult because I do not want to fall in that water with all the uh, metal spikes and bits of ventilation and god knows whatever else is in there here's another room I can't remember what all these rooms were for but um, I'll try and put on the screen what it is for you I can't believe it didn't record the first time. I'm really paranoid now in case it's not recording. So I'm probably gonna have to keep stopping every couple of minutes or so and just checking. Now this is one of the toilet areas. I believe this is the men's. As you can see, there's one of the toilets still there. Some ventilation up there. I can feel all the uh, crap at the back of my throat now. And there would have been another toilet there, but that's obviously gone. Urinal. Let's head back out. Yeah, just be careful with those, Clive. Here we have another view of the uh, operations room. Well, actually, this, would, this uh, big hull area would have been divided up into different rooms. You've got the plant room at the far end. Would have just been divided up, like cardboard or something like that. I don't know, plasterboard and another one of them things I've got to shimmy across because I don't want to fall into that water, which is about three foot deep. 
and get spiked on something. Um, but yeah, if you like this type of thing, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, let me know what you think. Um, I'm not the most knowledgeable on this type of thing, but I, I like to get out and to document it anyway. Um, yeah. Smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. Or smash that subscribe button and hit the like button. I don't know. Whichever way, you know what I mean. Now this is one of the um, mess rooms. And uh, another toilet area there. Got all the... Uh, ventilation there's some of it left anyway now you need to be careful in these rooms because you can't really see it you can just a bit but that is just stuff floating on the surface you step on that you're falling down into a void this whole area here I think no that's that's uh, concrete but that bit's not that would have been wooden flooring where they could pick it up and access pipes and um, cables same as under there, now that's definitely a, a void under there. That's a bit soggy. But yeah, here's your little kitchen area. And your little extractor for your little uh, cooker. So yeah, very small kitchen. But they probably would have eaten in shifts anyway. Um, do you want to grab a photo there, Clive? I'll put my lights on it for you. Completely trashed in it in here. Yeah. What can you do? I'm probably going to stop recording and just check that it's been recording. Back with you. Yep, uh, yep, we're looking good. We're still recording. That's what I like. I think I definitely need to upgrade my camera at some point. Get something a bit better because these GoPros, they're good for action stuff and if you want to throw them about but um, I've got external microphone and stuff like that on them so it doesn't make them waterproof anyway now and um, just handy little size but they, they come with the problems to uh, go for uh, overheating not recording SD card problems it's just not worth the stress because like I say I've been waiting three years well me and Clive have been waiting three years now to get in here and to come in and I spent 20 minutes, half an hour recording it, and then um, I've had to start again. And uh, we really needed to get in and out of this one, but um, that's life. We'll get there. There's the mezzanine area up there, so would have been storage, and I think some of the I don't know possible ventilation stuff. Um, I'll have to find out and put what would have been up there, I can't remember. But yeah, there would have been a ladder going up somewhere. Um, someone's made a temporary ladder there out of wood and I would not step on that. But if you want to Clive, you can go step on it and make everyone laugh. No thanks. <laughs> yeah, so there you go, you've got the plant room over there. As you can see, the wall, that would have been divided across there. You can just see the brickwork sticking out of the water. That would have been divided and then that would have been your plant room. Um, whatever you do Clive, don't fall in there. That would you ruin your day. So yeah, I've been back to the car and uh, grabbed some ladders. Extendable ladders, so I'm going to head up there and see what there is. Come with me. So yeah, as you can see, there's nothing up here. This would have been used for storage and I believe some of the um, ventilation or the air conditioning equipment. There's Clive taking some photographs. Enjoying yourself, Clive? As always. As always. Bunker mad. <laughs> Bunker mad. But yeah, you can see part of where the equipment was over there. See, so yeah, I decided to go back and get the ladder. There's a few little bits there of something. We're part of the old plant that was up here. There's a light switch over in the corner. 
You've got about six foot ceiling or six foot to the ceiling from this platform. There you go, you've got the kitchen there. That's the kitchen area with the extractor. There's a temporary ladder, but no one's been down here for years, so God knows when that was put in. You've got uh, 30 foot ceilings, possibly. 25 foot, 30 foot, what do you reckon, Clive? Ceilings? 20 foot. 20 foot? Yeah, yeah, probably 20 foot. Um, this is another mess area. So one would have probably been for officers and then one would have probably been for the rest of the staff that was in here. Got them over the ventilation. Like I say, you need to be very careful where you're walking. This is what I'm talking about because that's deep down there. And it's just, there's, the walls have all peeled off. All this crap, I can't even, it's like chipboardy stuff. It's all peeled off with a damp and it's covering these huge voids. There you go. Lucky number 28, 28. Here, number 28, Clive. <laughs> Yeah, the noise when I'm walking, that's the waders. There you go, you've got a better angle there of how deep the water is. And that looks about four foot. Um, but yeah, as you can see, it's completely stripped out. I believe it burnt down in 58. Did you say 58, Clive? 59. 59? Hmm, I think it burnt in 58. You can see there's a light fit in there. I believe it wasn't open long before it burnt down and I think it opened in 52 yeah there's your steps going down into the uh, plant room are you going in? <laughs> go for it take my camera and record over there yeah it's going to uh, belly flop in <laughs> that would be good to see I just hope to God the camera's still recording. You know, that's really annoyed me. But, uh, yeah, there's probably nothing left. Oh, Even in the uh, plant room, there's a bit of writing over there. It says number two part something thermostat. What does it say? Number two plant thermostat. Yeah. I'll let you get a picture. So yeah, there's been a very substantial fire in here and that'll be why they uh, shut it down and just abandoned it. Got some original lights there, light fittings, the shades. Which is always good to see. At least there's something in there. Now you go, you got that uh, classic green, just like all the uh, airfields and stuff. The Second World War airfields. It's that green colour. You'll know what I'm talking about. You've been around these military sites before. You'll know, won't you, Clive? You'll have seen those uh, green shades everywhere you've been. Hundreds. Yeah. Uh, are they are they enamel? Is it no. enamel? But, yeah, enamel. Yeah. Oh, my one knows. Oh, I'm going to get up there and cut one down. <laughs> <laughs> it's fairly deep, isn't it? I tell you what, moves. Yeah? Like fire. Yeah. It was in the air vents. Mm. And it wasn't in the plant room, it was in the air vent. Yeah, it just sort of looked like that, doesn't it? Yeah, it was down in the air vents. So I wonder if it's come through from the cooler side near the, where the air comes in. Yeah, I can see what you mean. It's more in there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I could have been like more. Yeah. Something could have gone into the ventilation. Is that asbestos, is it? Yeah. Lovely. 
we should be safe anyway because it's damp in here so I think when it's bone dry and it's good until it particles that's, that's the problem so yeah this would have been the uh, blast doors here going to the emergency exit you've got the void again it would have been teak flooring so it would have been expensive and that's why it's been stripped out when they've uh, left the bunker just show you that there Here we have the uh, coolers, this is where the coolers would have been. So the air would have come in from just over there, would have filtered through. And, um, well yeah, this is a cooler so it would have cooled the air down I suppose. The uh, equipment in this bunk would have been red hot so it needs to be cooled, the air needed to be cooled down before it went into anywhere near the uh, equipment in the uh, bunker. Do you want me to put some lights there so you can get some pictures? You've done them? Okay. I'll show you just in there. I keep forgetting I've not shown you this yet, even though I've already done it once. Well, I've done it twice actually, because I walked one way and then I walked back the other way to, to get different uh, angles. You've got to turn airplane mode off, Clive. So, um. This area here, this big area, would have been the gas filtration area. So it would have filtered the uh, air out. It's just everything, it's just completely stripped. I mean, I think even at Bempton, that was abandoned, it just left abandoned for years and it was open and most of this plant stuff was still left inside. Um, this one, the, the uh, RAF must have done it when they've left. So I can't see the uh, landowner at the time doing it and here we go, we've got one of these uh, crazy obstacles to go across. I'll tell you what though, look at that down there through that manhole. Can you see it? Deep. Yeah. yeah. Let's have a look at that with this torch, I'm just balancing. Yeah, I can't see the bottom. So you've got three foot of water here and then it goes down the man there's a manhole cover there which would have gone down even deeper. And that must be part of the um, the sump. Just uh, balancing along here, trying to keep my hands free in case I need to grab the wall or something. This is the uh, pump and sump room. So yeah, this is where you would have ejected all the waste and obviously groundwater. And that's about seven foot deep, which I would have thought it would have been deeper than that. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but there's a round thing there, and I think that's part of the, uh, I think that's the sump, maybe. To, uh, oh, it's a manhole cover, and then the pump equipment would have been down in there. Um, the lowest part of the bunker. The water would have gone into here and uh, gone down to the lowest point and then that would have kicked in automatically on a float system and would have ejected the water and the waste, the sewage from the bunker. And it's very echoey in this part. See if you can hear it. Subscribe! Yeah. There we go. Do the uh, old balancing act. Turn the light round. Very difficult to get the amount, amount of light, the right amount of light in. Now here's the uh, emergency exit. Even the stairs have gone here. They've uh, knocked all the concrete supports and taken all the metal stairs. Um, as you can see, aluminium up there. It's been capped with concrete, they've put aluminium sheets down and a couple of uh, steel girders by the looks of it, or oh, it's wood. Can't really tell, let's get me with a torch and have a look. Yeah, so you've got some steel girders and corrugated tin, and then they've just took cement on top. That's just a cable access point as well. Cables would have come in. And I think the cables on this side would have gone to the radar. Um, so yeah, you can see the marks on the wall there where the steps went up to the exit, which is unfortunately gone at uh, ground set at the 
on the surface it's completely gone. Keep getting my uh, words mixed up, which always happens. Just wish I could tell you a little bit more, but there's not really much to see. Um, but it's still good to get in here and get it documented. I don't think anyone's done their. I don't think anyone's documented it like this before, like what we're doing. So it's good to get in. I'll probably leave it a few months before I post it, so that no one comes and tries coming down here. Because you do need to know what you're doing with things like this. Uh, we do have someone stood at the surface as well to make sure that everything's okay, just in case anything happened to us. They can call for help. But yeah, there you go, you've got, well, part of the coolers that's left. And that's it, I can't believe how much I've actually taken out of this one. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll have a quick walk back through and then uh, we'll call it a night. So I'll use this torch for this one. As you can see, it's... That's the cable area, just so you can thread the uh, cables through and then access them where you need to. And you can see Clive trying to get across the water there. They're having a bit of difficulty. Hang on one second. Just getting some different angles walking back. What are you trying to do? Are you going to try and jump up there? No. no. Are you sure? I'm sure you're not going to make bones back. <laughs> <laughs> if you didn't understand that, he said, I'm sure you want to look at my bum. You know me too well, Clivey. You know me too well. <laughs> Everyone's going to be thinking uh, about for the other team. So yeah, there we go. Number two plant thermostat. It's the only original writing I've seen. Have you seen any of the writing anywhere, Clive? Pardon? Have you seen any writing anywhere? Yes. Yeah? Where? On the entrance. On the entrance? Mm. Oh, is there some original writing? Names. Names? Mm. Oh, I'll have a look in a... I'll have a look in a second then. This is... this is deep. It just looks like a, a concrete floor. With stuff on the surface, but it's not. So yeah, it's a, it's a big room, is this? If there's any of you watching in uh, Yorkshire, the closest one, well for me anyway, it's uh, RF Hompton. Go check them out, it's a museum. Um, yeah, John and Sylvia that own the uh, bunker are very friendly and they'll show you around. Give you a demonstration of the plant equipment actually running as well. Which is good. See, there you've got a better view up there. Shame there's no ladder to get up. I mean, there's a piece of metal there, I don't know what that is. And there you go, you've got uh, Clive going across. See, that's the kitchen and mess area. Be good if I can show you a bit of a better view of this. Uh, Let's just see what's going on here. This is very difficult. Whoa, that wall's loose. Is that what you were saying to me? Oh, this wall, this one that goes into the room. Yeah, the middle one. You could have told me before, I just stood on it. Wow. I nearly went then. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's a big room that. I think it'd have been divided into three or four different rooms. You've got the wall there, which would have been this would have been divided up here, up along there, and along the bottom. Just for the plant room, then you've got this, which would have been divided somewhere along there. Then you've got your main operations room. Whoa! <laughs> Am I blinding you? Jesus. And this is why we need to leave it a while before we post anything online anywhere. Because we need to uh, let it get sealed up. Um, I mean, normally they're on it here, normally it's, it's sealed up, isn't it? But that's where the, the fire was, no, the, the vent, the blowers. Yeah. 
I, that's how it was. Yeah. You can see where heat was there. Yeah. But that was red hot there. It's, yeah, it's you can see that that was absolutely scorching that. Yeah. Um, Clive should have been a fire investigator. Where the PPI inspection pit, not inspection pit, the equipment pit. Um, and I'll show you a photograph now actually of what that would have looked like. So this photograph is taken at Area of Hompton. So yeah, that's what that looked like. Toilets again, one, one, one small, we'll go through them, show you them. I can never record too much of a place that it's, uh, well it's really rare to see in here, so just uh, get as much footage as I can. I've got 20% left on the battery, which is plenty. I do have two more batteries anyway. But, um, yeah. So yeah, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button, hit the like, leave me a comment and let me know what you think. If you want to see more things like this, I'm not a, a professional, like I've said, but um, I do like to get out and record these types of places. I don't post all the time, but when I do post, I try to make it some decent content. I don't just pump it out. And in the background, when I'm not doing videos, I'm researching. I do a hell of a lot of research and I'm waiting for permission from places. I do a lot of uh, speaking to landowners and trying to get permission as well. So um, I do a lot of research in the background. And then um, I've got some more good videos coming up. Got some uh, right in there. Get Clive going at these ladders, these dodgy ladders. You got another one of those light shades. You done? Yeah. Where's that writing? Hmm? Where's that writing? Yeah. Oh, there's writing up there. All oh, right. Bye. Yeah, I'll just yeah, I'll grab that now. Whoa. See, as you can see, we've got some dodgy ladder system going on here. So we need to get up there, go across, and then up another 15 foot. Yeah, as you can see, the main entrance to access tunnel to the bunker comes uphill. We've confirmed that, which that was our suspicion. And you can feel the change in air temperature as you're walking down this, actually. It's not a very long tunnel compared to the other bunkers I've been to. There's no 90 degree bend, which I'm not too sure if that was like a... I think that they did on all the bunkers, but there's no bend in it, so the blast could just come straight up, straight to those blast doors without any baffles or anything like that, whatever you want to call it. No resistance to uh, deflect the blast. But yeah, thanks for watching. I um, hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.